hello everyone welcome back to my channel it's your girl Mercy art so today being a very nice sunny afternoon i'm going to take you on a tour to the village market uh, let's see what we can find out let's go yeah I'm like an addict, ooh, I gotta have it I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it Fuse like a magnet, lose, won't have it Till I'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, got a weird mind If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine I'ma stay in power for a long time Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter Big picture, I'm a straight killer Rice in the song to the highest bidder Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back, better than last Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back I'm never gonna look back Cause damn, I was built to last You move slow and I move fast And that's facts Only I can make a change Slowly take a step today I will never be the same Cause that's what it takes I'm putting on this nice little sweater with some jeans and my boots right there. So I'm just leaving my place right now. So follow me. Let's find out what we can see. So the village market is in two sections. We have the old block and then we have the new block. So I'm going to try my best to capture both the new and the old block. Let's see. So guys we are right here at the village market as i told you earlier on we have two blocks we have the new block as you can see right in front of us is the new block and right just adjacent to it is the old block actually this was the first initial village market that was constructed so the new block just came a couple of years ago very very current so now today you have the option of going all the way taking a u-turn you can either choose to go to the old block or you proceed upwards onto the new block entrance so for me i choose to go to the entrance for the new block reason being i like parking in the basement so this is the entry part of the old block section actually this was the initial initial entrance way back so now as i told you earlier on i'll just proceed up and then i take a left turn all the way to the basement
So I'm just walking towards the direction of the old block. Uh, it's a bit different. It looks way, way, way better. It had a reconstruction. Uh, no, not reconstruction, a renovation. So I had to wait here. This guy was taking a picture, you know. And then right in front of me, you can see it's the Kitengela hot glass. This is kind of their showroom. Uh, the main place is in Nathariff. I think I'll have to do a video for that. They do amazing, amazing glassware, you know, out of recycled pieces. So, so this is the old block section and uh, on the ground floor is actually a food court kind of a thing. So I was trying to avoid capturing that side because uh, there were so many people seated on the side out of just privacy. I couldn't really focus on that. So today being an afternoon, I think most people were having their lunch. So uh, I'll just go and take a turn. As I'm going towards this direction, uh, this is supposed to be the exit side. So I think I'll have to go back, uh, go upstairs, just show you around and then go to the new block. I really like the outlook of how it appears after the renovation. I however miss the old, old times. We used to have some rocky, rocky section at the midpoint and then there was some artificial waterfall. It had this naturalistic kind of a look which was really really nice the breeze and it created a very nice ambience right now it's all uh, let me say it's a concrete jungle well no shed but i prefer the old um, way it looked like i you share your views if you have been there just tell me do you prefer the new look or the old look i'm talking about the old section of the village market So guys, I'm right here and uh, everything is just fantastic. no cameras are allowed on this section so i just have to go back uh, go back downstairs to the food court and then i try my best to go upstairs on the other side of the new block Oh, I forgot one thing just adjacent to the food court I can show you around on the other areas whereby we have different stores this is still the old block section we have different stores uh, whereby you can shop different items we have eateries etc so uh, let me just see if I can go through this corridor I see whether there's something exciting it seems to be a dead end but then let's see Mm, not as exciting as I thought but well let's just cut through I feel like I'm in a tunnel <laughs> let's just go follow me walk with me that's the Kitengela hot plus uh, showroom um, I didn't want to go in because it's a bit creepy just <laughs> getting in and filming without necessarily buying anything. It's a bit rude. So uh, that's the reason why I'm just walking through. So enjoy. It's actually a tour anyway. So most of these stores actually have this African, Kenyan souvenirs, gift items, name it all. Anything interesting you might feel like buying. Let me just say it's a cocktail of art pieces, souvenirs, artifacts. Well, you might get your brain there too as well. <laughs> 
what am i even saying anyway so i want to proceed and you can see right through the glass we have the food court right below there that's the section i was telling you i couldn't film because uh, there were so many people sitting right right there and it's uh, not really really good manners filming people yeah so I'll just proceed uh, right in front. I couldn't go on all the floors because, uh, well, it's almost the same thing. Different stores, people selling different items. And we have very, very many different things from different countries. Pasha and Italy. Which other place? Well, you come and find out for yourself. But then let me just see if I can go all the way and cut across as though I'm going towards the parking. But then uh, I don't know what I'll find. But... I must say all these stores are almost similar, so I think um, I might be finishing my tour. Let's, let's just say at the end of this particular corridor, then I turn back to go to the new section. Whoa, look at that. I've been seeing so many butterflies on the ceiling. I think it's the theme of the week or something. I don't know what's going on, but they were beautiful. So the security guy is actually demanded to see the video I was taking and the photos. They told me it's not allowed. But then later on they realize I'm just a YouTuber, I'm vlogging and there's nothing in particular. So the good thing is uh, on my video of notice I'm not going into people's stores. I'm not uh, filming people's faces as much. Not unless someone is just passing across and he has a mask like, like him. So um, they told me to kind of avoid uh, going into the stores like filming different businesses so i didn't do that and that's the reason why you can see this video is just capturing the, the the entire place i'm not in particular going deep into fishing uh, information from different people so they they told me it's okay uh however i should change instead of using my professional camera i should use the phone because previously you can actually see those a guy who was taking a picture and i was asking them how come the guy was taking photos and videos around and was not arrested so he said you see for you you're using a professional camera so i didn't really get the difference trust me if there's anyone who can explain this to me please make me understand what's the difference between filming with a camera and a phone i mean a phone has a camera too well i just don't get it in a nutshell they realized i'm not a threat i'm just someone who is looking for nice 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 artistic images and photos that's it so they actually let me go and i told them hey can you subscribe please and i got two subscribers <laughs> yeah anyway kudos to the security of the village market you guys are doing an awesome job yay big up Oops, I forgot to mention, I'm already at the new block section. Uh, well, I think it passed by when I was rambling about the security issue. So this section is usually very nice. In a couple of times, we have the Maasai market uh, that goes on. Uh, I can't remember the number of days that they come. But, well, you may need to check that. But then they have very nice, amazing, interesting stuff. So I'll not go, as usual, on all the floors. I'll just tour this particular floor and go downstairs. All the way, we have very nice artistic, artistic stuff um, in terms of the stores whereby each and every store has tried its best to have its own concept whether it's a coffee uh, coffee place whether it's a um, chocolate bar whether it's a restaurant let me just say they've really really tried their best in short the more you move around the more you see different amazing stuff So I'm heading on the ground floor towards the direction of uh, the stores. So this is the ground floor for the new block section. Look at that. I really, really love this concept. Trust me, I'm enjoying this. But 
how did they install those butterflies up there? Just a bit curious. So this is the food court on the new block section. It's also on the ground floor. You notice on the old block, actually the food court was also on the ground floor. So I think this is a concept that they're trying to make it common for both the blocks. So as usual, I'm trying to kind of just walk on the edges of this uh, side to avoid the mid part. Uh, the mid section really has so many people eating. And I don't want to have all those bad manners <laughs> when people eating. I'll just take a quick panoramic view uh, that's how it looks like okay so then later on you can proceed so most of the eatery zones are actually right here on the ground floor we have so many different uh, cuisines from different places it's up to you to choose we also have the mini bars etc trust me it's really really enjoyable it's a place you can come all over again uh, without really getting bored especially on the places to go to So I think there's some new straws that are trying to be put up on that side. So I'm um, just going to walk towards the direction that I didn't go by. Uh, actually, there's so many corridors. On my right, there is the chocolate bar. Hey, and right here is the Spring Valley coffee. Trust me, I can smell the coffee in the entire corridor. It's such an amazing place, by the way. I think I'll come back here for some coffee. I don't know. But... I think it's really really fantastic although it's a bit hidden there is something so special about the smell of coffee do you know sometimes I boil coffee at home just to have the fragrance the, the, the smell that it oozes around I mean it's just fantastic well so I'm out of those corridors we have so many different stores in there so I think I'll just uh, trace my way back up I'm a bit thirsty maybe get some place to have a cold drink or so right now is not the time for coffee it's too hot guys so I'm cutting through the food court and uh, luckily we don't have so many people uh, as compared to when I was passing by last time nothing much here just normal stores kids stores uh, you know name it all nothing much though that exit takes you to the old block so I'll have to go back I need a uh, cold drink So I'm heading downstairs uh, towards the direction of Mag and Bean. Uh, I think I'll have, they have very nice milkshakes. So I'll just check out uh, whether I can order for that. Either milkshake or some ice cream. I don't know. I'll figure out because right now it's very, very hot. And I made a mistake of putting on a heavy sweater. I thought it would get cold. 
you know, sometimes the weather is so unpredictable, I never even know what to do. <laughs> people that was a tour of the village market i hope you enjoyed feel free to share your views and opinions on the comment section if, if there's any other place that you like me to visit kindly let me know if there are suggestions for anything exciting you'd like to see on my channel feel free to share that i totally totally really appreciate your feedback so um yay enjoy your day 